recently I got infected with COVID and this is the first time after my quarantine that I am going to the farm to check so I am halfway through my drive to the farm matagal tagal din yung uh, two weeks na hindi tayo nakapag drive dito okay dito na sa sa farm so lapit na tayo uh, I think I can remove my mask it's been a couple more a uh, couple of weeks since nakapunta tayo because of the quarantine pero ngayon uh, we're here okay. one more turn okay we're finally here let me go down dito na tayo uh, sigurado medyo magulo to uh, but it's good to be back and to be able to work here again nandito na ako and it looks like namiss ako nito ng mga tanta ako speaking Tignan natin. Make sure they need to be moved. Itong mga Orpington. Uh, they look good. Pero medyo yung pwesto nila medyo ubus na yung grass. So I have to move them. But all in all I think yun lang ang issue. Just need to move them to a fresh grass. And yung mga roosters dito mukhang okay din sila. So medyo Uh, nasobrahan lang sila sa babad sa pwesto nila sa mga grasses ayan, pasensya na kayo if you see na medyo marumi but uh, we're both seeing this for the first time I think uh, medyo may ahabol pa natin sila uh, pagkain lang to and then move to new grasses I, I will be moving them here kaya I'm not worried So far so good sa nakikita ko. I've just put in my boots para makapag trabaho ng maayos. Here with my pecking ducks, I'm trying to give them as much food because I know this is the first time that they have a good meal. I plan to move them back to the other side of the farm where, where the geese and the other ducklings are. See how they how hungry they are. I guess for the past two weeks they have been given less feed. So I try to be generous to them today and then I'll I'll slow ration them uh, in the succeeding days. So Same with the goats. Try to give them a generous amount of feeds for today. At least I will be able to provide them feeds, feed pellets moving forward. Um, it's, it's just that uh, we cannot do anything about it. So I have to be quarantined and I'm really sad that the, that this uh, animals would have to 
We're checking the pigs. So we have checked the goats. I think they're all looking good. Asensya na kayo at, at ngayon lang natin ito nakikita. Pero uh, now that I'm back, pwede na natin tambakan ito ng buhangin. And okay na naman ang pwesto nila. Okay, let, let's see Big George. How Big George is doing. Here is Big George. Hey! Big George! Okay. Uh, ganun din. Uh, marami rin putik pero medyo okay ang pwesto. They're looking good. And this is Lenny. And it looks like uh, okay din siya. It's been two weeks since Lenny has her bath so I think she's gonna love this and I'm getting uh, Lenny ready to breed to George I think she has reached her natural weight and I will just wait for Lenny to have a standing heat and I'll put her uh, together with George so, two weeks I think without a bat, so Lenny is loving it. These guys will never stop eating. I was hoping to condition them and hopefully reach their weight wherein they start laying eggs. This will be a large number of eggs coming soon. It's already dark here at the farm. I am here still cleaning. Uh, when you're not able to uh, visit the farm for a long time, uh, one day is not enough to, to do all the things that you wanted to do. So this one, uh, this is a nipa hut that I converted to a brooder house for my chicks but now I am trying to clean it up and as you can see there's a lot of uh, trash uh, here so I will clean this up renovate it as a tiny house here at the farm I realized when I was affected by COVID that it's important that uh, I have a tiny house here so at least I could have spent my quarantine time here at the farm. I may not be uh, doing the chores, but at least I'm here to uh, supervise. Uh, that's how fast our day went by. The whole day spent after two weeks of home quarantine. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.